so far we have discussed about the design strength of compression member that means how to calculate the strength of a compression member that we have understood if a dimension of a compression member means cross sectional dimension of a member is given and the type of member is given then we can find out the strength of that member. Today I will discuss how to design a compression member that means when the load is given then how to find out a appropriate section. Now to find out appropriate section first we have to decide what type of sections we are going to choose. It may be I section, it may be channel section, it may be angle section, it may be built up section. So, according to the requirement we have to choose a particular type of section, it may be built up section or certain individual section. Then what type of means, what will be the dimension of the section, what will be the size of the section, how do we decide. Here there is a iterative process we have to follow, because if we see the design strength calculation P d the force compressive force design compressive force P d is equal to you know A e into F c d. Now, we do not know A e because we do not know the dimension of the section. So, effective area we do not know. Also, we do not know the compressive stress allowable compressive stress of the member because it depends on the uh, slenderness ratio. Again, slenderness ratio depends on the radius of gyration. Radius of gyration will be depending on the dimension of the section. So, both the parameters are unknown. So, and both the parameters are dependent on each other. Therefore, there is no linear process to find out simply uh, the dimension of the section. So, what we need to do? Either we have to uh, consider certain means uh, we have to assume certain compressive stress F C D. Then we can find out the area required and then again we can go for the design or F C D directly we can find out generally we consider F C D as 0 0.4 to 0 0.4 F Y to 0 0.6 F Y generally we consider. However, means this is a trial process means at the beginning we can start with that and then we will uh, will uh, will be able to understand at the end whether the member whatever we are going to choose is fine or not. If it is not fine then either we have to increase or decrease according to the results. Otherwise also we can consider that uh, lambda value the radius of gyration. Now, radius of gyration if we know then from table 9 we can find out the value of F C D. So, either we can choose radius of gyration or we can choose F C D directly, then we have to go. Now, let us see what are the steps we should follow. So, I have uh, written here the steps which can be followed to uh, design a compressive member. First, what we can do that assume a suitable design compression stress F C D. It may be 0.4 F Y to 0.6 F Y. Now, if the slenderness ratio is less then we can consider little higher side. If the slenderness ratio is high we can consider lower side, but we do not know slenderness ratio, but we know the effective length. Length of the member is known. So, if length of member is high then we have to choose a lower value and if effective length is less then we can choose a higher value also. So, uh, this way we can start then what we can find out that effective sectional area. So, if we assume certain F C D value then in next step we can find out the effective sectional area A E. Now, once we find A E then we can find a suitable section from S P 6 right. A section is to be selected which gives effective area required and then calculate R minimum. That means, from effective area 
we can find out a suitable section that means whether it is angle section or channel section that we have to first choose then which section is more means the area of which section is more than the this that we have to find out then we can select that particular section then if we select a particular section then we can find out the r minimum of that value and that also we can find out directly from the table in sp6 or if we use built up section then we have to find out means we have to calculate and we have to find out next step is we can we know the effective length then we can find out the slenderness ratio because if we know the end condition and then we can find out the effective length and then l y r minimum ratio that is slenderness ratio. Now, if I know the slenderness ratio I can find out the f c d value directly from table 9 or by calculation f c d value I can calculate and once f c d value is calculated we can find out the load carrying capacity. Now, if load carrying capacity is more than the external load P D, then we can say the member is fine that means, the design is fine whatever section we have chosen is ok. Otherwise, we have to choose a higher section and we have to go to step 3 again and then we have to choose a higher section. And if we see that load carrying capacity if uh, load carrying capacity is quite high than the external force, then we have to reduce the member size, the section size, because otherwise it will be much more conservative, it would be uneconomic. So, to make it economic, we have to uh, means choose a section in such a way that the external force and design compressive force are coming more or less similar and design compressive force will be slightly more than the external force then it will be economic. So, this is how by iterative process we can design a compressive member. Now, another way uh, to find out the lambda value means in place of F C D one can choose a lambda which are given in this table approximately we can choose this set of slenderness ratio value. Like in case of single angle section, we can use means we can choose slenderness ratio as 100 to 150. In case of channel section, single channel section 90 to 150 can be chosen. Double angle if it is then 80 to 120. For double channel, the slenderness ratio value can be considered much less 40 to 80. Similarly, single I section 80 to 150 double i section 30 to 60. So, from this L by R value we can find out the F C D value from table 9 and then we can find out the uh, uh, particular section then we can iterate again. So, this will be clear if I go through this example. Now, I have provided one example to design a compressive member. Now, design if I see here it is written that design a compressive member carrying an axial load of 250 kilo Newton the effective length of the member is 3 meter right and design the member with two equal angles in star orientation as shown in the figure. Now, in the figure the orientation has been shown. Now, before going to design certain things have been told already like we have to choose a equal angle section two equal angle section not single equal angle, single equal angle section two equal angle section and it will be star orientation we can use two angle section back to back in same side of the cassette plate opposite side of the cassette plate but in this case it is mentioned that we have to make it star orientation and we have to use equal angle section right. So, accordingly we will try to find out. Now, if star angle section is used 
in star orientation if the angle sections are used then you see we can find out i x x value i u i a value similarly i u u and i v v. Now, from this we can see that the minor axis will be v v right sorry minor axis will be u u here in this case right. So, I have to find out r u u which will be minimum I have to find out r u u value and about u u it will buckle first. So, I have to find out the moment of inertia of the combined section about u u axis and then radius of gyration about u u axis then I have to find out the cylinder analysis. Now, let us go through the design process. So, first I can find out the f c d value means I can assume a suitable f c d value which was told 0.4 f y to 0.6 f y. Now, let us consider point say 0.5 f y right. So, if I use f c d as 0.5 f y that means 0.5 into 250 that means 125 mpa. So, A e the required area I can find out that will be P d, P d is 250 kilo Newton by F c d, F c d value is 125. So, from this I can find out 2000 millimeter square right. That means, A e will be 2000 millimeter square that means, the cross sectional area of single angle should be around 2000 by 2 means 1000 millimeter square. So, I have to look a section means angle section where the area is little higher than 1000 millimeter square and that has to be equal angle section. So, coming to table 3 of SP 6 I can find out a section ISA 90 by 90 which is single um, equal section by 6 if I use its area is becoming 1047 which is slightly more than 1000 right. So, this is how I have chosen a angle section and I can find out now the value of C x C y etcetera from the S p 6. So, C x C y I can find out as 24.2 R x and R y as it is a angle equal angle section. So, I can means R x and R y will be same which is 27.7 and R u value is 35 and R v value is 17.5. These are the property of individual angle section. Now, I have to find out the property of the combined section. So, property of the combined section can be found as A dash the area of the combined section will be 2 into 1047 that will be 2094 and let us use a gusset plate gusset plate and its thickness is say 10 mm. Okay. So, if we use a gusset plate of 10 mm then I can find out I x value. So, I dash x we can find out I dash x as 2 into I x plus a into C x plus T g by 2 whole square right. So, if we see the orientation of the angle it is something like this. So, this thickness of the gusset plate is 10 mm right. So, I x I can find out like this I x means in this direction I x and I y will be in this direction and I x and I y will be same. So, I x let us find out I x means combined section. Uh, 
so here I can find out r dash x as i dash x by a dash. So, i dash x by a dash means 2 a. So, this can be found as i dash x means 2 i x. So, uh, I can find out 2 into i x plus a into c x plus t g by 2 whole square by 2 a. So, from this I can find out i x by a plus c x plus t g by 2 whole square. So, i x by a means r x square. So, r x square plus so, this will be square root So, r x square plus c x plus t g by 2 whole square. So, r x dash simply I can find out from this formula. So, r x dash will become simply same as r y dash is equal to r x value is 27.7 c x is 24.2, t g is 10. So, from this I can find out r x dash or r y dash as 40.25 millimeter. Right. Now, similarly r v dash can be found, r v dash will be in a similar fashion I can find out the value of r v dash is equal to r v square plus 2 into c y plus t g by 2 whole square. So, from this I can find out r v as 17.5 square plus 2 into 24.2 plus 10 by 2 whole square. So, from this the value of r v dash will be 44.85 millimeter and r u dash will be simply r u right r u dash will be r u. So, that will be 35 millimeter. So, we could find out r x dash, r y dash, r u dash, r v dash. So, out of this 4 the r minimum can be obtained. So, r minimum will be basically r u or r u dash that will be 35 right and effective length L e we can find as 0 0.85 L that will be 0 0.85 into 3000 is equal to 2550. So, once we find the value of effective length, I can find out the radius uh, uh, lambda slenderness ratio. So, slenderness ratio will be L e by r minimum. So, L e is 2550, r minimum is 35. So, from this I can find out the value as 72.86 which is less than the allowable slenderness ratio. So, this is ok and we know that this is an angle section. So, buckling class C will be used. So, table 9 C will be the appropriate one to find out the value of F C D. So, F C D value I can find out from the table 9 C corresponding to F Y 250 that will be 152 minus 136 by 10 into 2.86. This is uh, 72.86. So, 
this is lambda for 70 and this is lambda for 80. So, by interpolation we can find out the value as 147.42 MPM. Right. So, F C D value we could find as 147.42. So, the strength of the member strength of the member can be found A E into F C D. So, 147.42 is the F C D value and A E is 2094. So, this is coming 308.7 kilo Newton. So, member is safe right because it is more than 250 kilo Newton. So, what we could see here that we have assumed certain F C D value and on the basis of F C D value we found a particular section and after finding that particular section we try to find out the strength of that section and we could see the strength of that section is 308.7 kilo Newton, which is much higher than the applied load. So, though member is safe theoretically what we should do we should decrease the member size and we should see in which member it is uh, going to be safe marginally right. So, once it is done now suppose uh, we are making safe this one and we are using this um, section. So, if it is used this section whatever we have found is used then we have to go for tack welding because the two sections are two sections are to be tacked at different places to make it proper placement. Okay. So, to avoid local buckling uh, along the length we need to provide uh, tack welding and as per the clause 7.8.1 clause 7.8.1 the lambda e value has to be less than 0.6 lambda. So, lambda e we will find out lambda e means for local buckling means between two tack welding the lambda e has to be found and that has to be less than 0.6 into lambda or 40 whichever is less. So, in this case this value is coming uh, 0.6 into 72.82.86 that is 70 uh, sorry 43.72 or 40 whichever is less. So, we can consider lambda e value as 40. Okay. So, lambda e value is 40 if this is S the spacing then I can find out lambda E as S by R V. R V is the radius of gyration means minimum radius of gyration. So, and it has to be 40. So, if I consider this I can find out the value of S as lambda E into R V that is 40 into R B R B is the minimum radius of gyration of the individual member that is 17.5. So, this will be 700 mm. That means, when the members are tagged uh, say for example, it is tagged here. So, this spacing will be 700 and now we have to make tack welding means if we make welding then we have to find out the weld size. So, we know the weld has to be designed to resist a transverse force and transverse force is considered 2.5 percent of the load. 
so 2.5 percent of load means 2.5 into 250 by 100 that means 6.25 kilonewton that means i have to design a weld to carry this transverse load so if we use uh, a 5 mm weld size of the weld as 5 mm then length of the weld i can find out so length of the weld will be length of weld will be p by t e into f u by root 3 gamma m w so if i put the value p is 6.25 the transverse load that is 2.5 percent of the axial load p by t e is 0 0.7 into s that is 5 the weld size f u is 410 by root 3 gamma m w we can consider 1.25 using soft weld so that is becoming 9.43 mm so length of weld is 9.43 mm or 10 mm that means we can provide the tack welding of 5 mm size at a with a length 5 mm size and 10 mm length and 700 mm spacing this is what we have to do right so we we have seen here how to uh, how to make tack welding and uh, how to find out the oil distribution oil size and oil length for tack welding now what i was going to tell earlier one second i would like to repeat that for this case we have seen that the load is coming 250 kilonewton whereas whenever we have done the assumed section here uh, we got the load carrying capacity as 308.7 kilonewton that means we have to repeat the design to get an economical section because if we use this section it will not be economic so but this is a tedious job so it is always better to make a program at our own and use that if we make a program and do it then we can find out a economic section because in programming uh, required amount of iteration will be done automatically if we make the algorithm properly so uh, we do not have to do anything means uh, once we develop a program then we can find out an economic section because in computer uh, algorithm uh, the iteration will be done so through iteration it will search which one will be the best section to carry out that much external load so here i will just show a demonstration here you see uh, i have developed a program means my students have developed a program uh, for design of compressor member using matlab environment and it is uh, graphical user interface based program has been developed so there this program has been demonstrated that design a single length discontinuous strut to carry a factor load of 50 kilonewton so load is 50 kilonewton and assume that the distance between its joint is 2 meter use uh, fy as 250 mpa so with this data uh, we'll see how to find out the uh, required sectional area so this is the gui of the program in first page uh, it will show you the different option here we have made three options only one is single angle section another is double angle section on same side and double angle section on opposite side for these three cases we have developed the program 
for other cases we have to develop. So, those who want to develop they can make the algorithm in such a way that uh, the different type of uh, orientation of the angle section can be used. So, for this case as it is told that single angle section. So, uh, we have to click on single angle section then it will show this type of section and then if we click on enter the input values then it will go to the next page. In next page you see that it is shown that factor load it was actually 50 kilo Newton and effective length of compression member was given 2 meter which is 2000 millimeter imperfection factor as it is angle section. So, imperfection factor also can be given using table 7 then maximum um, effective slenderness ratio can be defined as per table 3 then the gusset plate thickness if we are going to use uh, double angle section then we have to provide gusset plate thickness otherwise we can provide 0 because we are not using any gusset plate. Then we can uh, um, opt whether it is in equal angle section or unequal angle section. If unequal angle section then again we have option that outstanding leg is larger or the connected leg is larger which one means as we will be choosing according to that orientation will be done and calculation will be made accordingly. Then uh, the according to table 5 the material strength means factor for material strength gamma m 0 that will be calculated if we click here if we give the check box automatically it will take the value otherwise we can put our uh, chosen value also. Similarly, as a P 410 grade of steel if you use then automatically its ultimate tensile strength and yield strength will be shown otherwise we can provide at our uh, own also. Then we have to go to next. So, if we go to next then this type of uh, page will come where the data whatever we have provided has been shown means now if we see that uh, if some data are mistakenly done means by mistake if we have given some data then we can go to back we can go back and we can provide the proper data otherwise we can ask means we can click on check a particular section check a particular section means we can give a means if we click here it will show different section available in sp6 so we can check a particular section say for example isa 90 by 90 by 10 now if it is okay then it will show okay otherwise it will show it is unsafe and if we click on this that find economical section then it will start from the least one and it will go on increasing uh, stage by stage for each case it will check whether it is ok or not if it is not ok then it will go for next uh, higher version higher section and then again it will check. So, in this way lot of iteration will happen and finally, it will find out the economic section this is how uh, the program runs. So, if we choose a particular section we can make then this is the output uh, if we uh, here you see the 75 by 75 by 6 section has been chosen and these are the input which has been given and in output it is shown that F C D value is coming this and the design compressive strength is coming 59.43 whereas, the external force was 50 kilo Newton. So, marginally uh, higher value is coming and the effective slenderness ratio also coming 137 and uh, allowable slenderness ratio was 180. So, this is how one can find out the values. So, from demonstration of this program what I wanted to say is the writing a MATLAB code is very easy. Uh, if you know the design methodology if you know how to calculate the design strength of a compression member then the same can be written in a program and then 
uh, by providing some loop we can uh, try with different section and finally, we can find out a suitable section by trial and error method. So, once if we develop such type of program then uh, next we can just simply use we can we do not have to do anything else. Otherwise, every time if we do not have program at our hand then we have to calculate every time means those who are design engineer those who are working in design firm for them every time they have to calculate um, for designing a particular member. But once we develop a uh, customized program then uh, we do not need to uh, give that much effort for every time we can find out the uh, solution just by running the program right. So, this is all about the design of compression member uh, with respect to single member single compression member or just I mean single angle section or double angle section this is what we will do. Next day we will uh, try to find out the built up sections means how to design a built up section and uh, uh, for design of built up section we need to uh, tie the member along its height or length by using lacing or uh, or battening system those will be discussed in next class. Thank you.